All right, hello and welcome. Today we're going to be uh, listening in on Andrew Tate talking with Kim Jong Un and um, Aiden, idiot. Funny, I can be serious. Andrew, Kim Jong. <laughs> How you doing, my G? Hello, Mr. Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bad. How's things over there? <laughs> For me, it's always good. good. I, I see you're working on your missile tech, trying to keep your country sovereign. Good luck. Of course, of course. Uh, unfortunately, American the Great Satan has been trying to keep my country down ever since <laughs> the years Satan. ago, when my country was. <laughs> and I swear to you, Mr. Tate, I will destroy America. <laughs> Bro, all right, hold on a second. You don't have to That's say- That's good news. Aiden's no, over there, so you can- No, it's not good it's news. It's okay, he's safe. He is safe. Bro. You're in Florida. That's where my man Donald Trump is. You will not get nuked. You're safe okay. in that state. So any Americans, <laughs> if you want to be safe, move to Florida. Right, that's good to know. So how do you and Aiden know each other? Aiden, have you been to North Korea? No, Andrew, we should go for- we should go. You want to go? Bro. I thought Romanian jail was bad, but I have a strong suspicion North Korean jail is probably a little bit worse. Mr. Tate and Mr. Ross, if you come to North Korea, I'll put you up in my penthouse, and you'll have exclusive use of my private, private hiram. How does that sound? And Mr. Ross, you can get to fuck my sister. She really needs a big dick. <laughs> I mean, look at that face. What the fuck? She is so tight. <laughs> You know, let me, tell you, all a, let me tell you all a short story. You know, I had no money at all when I was growing up in Luton on a council estate with a single mother with no money. I had all these dreams of what I'd do if I ever got rich. Andrew, if you make hundreds of millions of dollars, you're going to do this, you're going to do that. Turns out I go to Romanian jail and get woken up at three in the morning by Aiden Ross to come and talk to a Kim Jong Un impersonator. <laughs> what am I doing in my life? <laughs> I'm having a midnight, I'm having a midlife crisis now. What am I doing? I am filthy rich. What am I doing with my life? Excuse me, but I'm here. I'm the real deal. And any, any hint about me being an impersonator, not the real thing, I will have you executed in the States. <laughs> That'd be hard to do. You've been trying for a while. I'm pretty hard to kill. No, I have not tried before. Trust me. I kill my uncle. I kill my half brother. And if I want to kill someone, I'll do it. And this is the first time we spoke, so let's not get off on the wrong foot. All right, Gene. That's fair enough. You do have to do <laughs> Come over to North Korea, and I'll show you a good time. Where men are men, and women are women. That's true, but you just threatened to kill me, so I'm going to reconsider the invite, but I'll let you know. Oh, that's okay. I've threatened a lot of people. I know how you feel. Me too. Yeah. Kind of how life goes sometimes. You're just trying to wake up, trying to run your country, run your business. I get you. I understand it. You got your empire. You got your women. You got your harem. Yeah, you keep beating you, else flexing else on you, talking who else? shit. Who else, yeah, listen, don't make me fuck you up. I get it, bro. I'm the same. My, my life's basically the same. Me and you live the same life. I think I hear a man who understands me deeply. I think we'll be very good friends in the future. Me too. So what the fuck's Aiden doing here? Why are we friends with Aiden? What's Aiden good for? Hey, you know what, Andrew? I don't like that. We've been brothers for, oh, you know, I've known you almost like a year and a half now. Time goes by. You know, a year ago in like two months, that's the first time I've ever met each other in person. It's crazy. Life goes by, brother. How old are you now, Aiden? 22. What are you gonna get me for my birthday though? I'm turning 23 in a month. Absolutely nothing. Why? Why would I buy you anything? Fair point, fair enough. Um, Andrew, when is the, uh, it's just, just, Kim, what are you looking at? I'm looking at you two and seeing, seeing the banter that you have between you two. I mean, it's truly mesmerizing. I yeah. understand why you have so many views. Maybe I should start my own uh, kick channel. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I think uh, I'll have some con converts to my, to my Juche, philosophy do you know about juche philosophy aiden what's that sir it's the philosophy of being self-sufficient it was actually funnily enough the leader of north korea i believe it was our good guests here's father came to romania no actually sorry let me get that kim wrong yeah kim il-sung the romanian dictator ceausescu went 
to North Korea and he was inspired by it and he tried to instill it for Romania, paid off the IMF just before he was assassinated. But the idea is that basically you can be completely self-sufficient. You don't need to trade with other countries. However, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend. It's not actually a very effective economic policy and I'll explain why to you. If you're a very good accountant, what you should do is focus on doing as much accountancy as possible to make as much money as possible and all the other services you require in your life, for example, tailoring, you purchase from somebody else. If you're completely self-sufficient, then what you do is you have to make your own clothes. You take less time actually doing what you're good at, which is accounting. Overall, you end up broker because you should be a good accountant, but you're not busy doing accounting. You're busy sewing a shirt. So all in all, countries are actually more prosperous with a broader economic and trade policy. But I do also understand in your very unique situation is difficult because of the American sanctions, the fact that if you did open up your country, they'd be looking to do a CI. Okay, he's correct, but that is predicated on the concept that everybody plays nice and you outsourcing these services never comes back and bites you in the ass because you have like a pandemic where you find out that China fucking produces everything. So yeah, it works great as long as everybody's playing the game. But as soon as someone says, hey, F off, you're, you're, you're going to wish that you were self-sufficient, I can tell you that. You will regret outsourcing everything except for accounting because um, you'll be left high and dry with your spreadsheets and nothing else. I on you and infect the minds of the youth with liberal garbage, NGOs, etc., etc., and they throw overthrow the country. So and, Andrew, I, and I didn't know you... Mr. I, Tate should come to North Korea and be my economic advisor. Andrew, I didn't know. No, I didn't, yeah, Andrew, yeah. Andrew, 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 I didn't know you. No. Picked, Andrew, I didn't know you picked up another language. Yeah, mm. Japanese. You, you learn how to speak Japanese. I will say, I get the appeal of Tate, but I just will never understand why the fuck people watch Aiden Ross. I guess I'll have to look at more of his content. Maybe he's not as. Just, I've just seen every clip I've ever seen. He comes across as stupid or pedantic. Uh, he's got no, he, he's really got nothing of value to say. He's just a shit talker and he's not even that good at it. But who am I? I'm a fucking nobody. So if he sucks, then I guess I'm way worse. I don't know. What's the joke? I don't understand. That didn't hit. So I don't get it. Sorry, I don't understand. That was stupid. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad. That was, that was dumb as fuck for me. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, all right. Aiden, I'll keep you, hey, Aiden, Aiden, tell us a joke that's funny. Go. Okay. Tell us a joke. Go. All right, all right, all right. All right. Andrew, I, I did the chicken one. You want to, you, the chicken, the rooster joke. I already made you laugh in one of my jokes. You've never made me laugh. Yes, I have made you laugh before. Never, bro. Okay, I'll make you laugh right now. Um, let me think. Let me think of a joke to say. Um, hold on here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. He's just reading um, chat. Um, oh, I can make you laugh right now. Nah, I'm not going to do that. I was going to prank you with these, but I won't. Um, okay. I don't have a joke on the fly, man. I'm not really a stand-up comedian type of guy. Andrew, you can't make me laugh. Um, I don't think either of you are comedians. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of getting lame, so I'm going to leave this uh, and talk to you. I can't come. Yo, can I, can I actually add someone in here I want you to meet? <clears throat> You'll love them. I'm going to just keep adding people. Wait, 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 wait. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> it was Kim Jong Un. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> cool. All right, Kim Jong. Yeah, safe. I mean, that was pretty funny. Even if he's not that funny, um, bringing people together and putting them in weird situations, I get that part of his stick. Um. But yeah, anyway, that was absolutely hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you in the next one.